<laughs> Shut up, you knob. Hello, well, my name is Devalerius. I like the wheelies very much. Welcome back to Towns, people. With uh, me and Valerius, and a siege happening, and a harvest that needs doing, and some roofing that needs getting done. I am not Valerius, I am Pedro. And Pedro, yes, come in my shop. And a poo bear. I'm a poo bear. <laughs> <laughs> so epic. Uh, right, let me get this roof <laughs> laid. Oh, God. I'm going to have to slow down that bit of you laughing. Right, is that air? <laughs> no, don't do any fucking stupid <laughs> effects on me. Leave me alone. Just have it slow down. The screen kind of rock out, and then our tinted colours come on, and text flying everywhere, just saying, ha ha. This is no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I could mess with these videos so much if I wanted to. Oh, I've, here's, I've, I've here's, the, here's the siege. Oh, my God. Look at the army on its way up. Dun, 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 dun. Did you make a bunch of soldiers or just the normal hit crew? Uh, the hit crew, but I'm think, thinking... Yeah, I've made the other soldiers quickly, quickly, faster than that. Uh, oh, shit. Did you just give one more soldier? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just have one more soldier that should hold them up. Let's yeah. get some of the badasses on soldier duty. <laughs> and the badasses would be? Uh, fourth one just killed someone, so that's a start. There we go, it's a bit of a gangbang going off over there. There's a, a goblin, hobgoblin thing on its way. Look at, look at the people run. It's like fucking football. <clears throat> and the spider's coming in from the left, he's coming in from the left, but for the people aren't blocking in, they're running over the right, oh my god. It's like fucking <clears throat> sensible soccer. And it's 1-0, one 1-0 nil, one nil for the spiders. Sensible soccer was a great game. What was that, uh, yeah, I'm not going to discuss with you guys, we'll probably never remember it. Well, go on, <laughs> let's try at least. Right, it was a game where you played as a jester. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pandemonium. Oh, right. Okay. Fucking skills. <laughs> that game you'll have, you'll, have to, you'll have to try harder than that to catch me out, Valerius. Pandemonium was a great little platformer. Pandemonium 2 was, what was pretty that good film as well. What was was in? Oh, I don't know. That was just a random fucking straight-to-TV film. But yeah, Pandemonium. Oh, God. Remember that? We had them both. We finished them both, I think, me and you. English fans were always sat there going, we played through it Jimothy? all. I'm sure that's not a name. It, yeah. It's not a name. That was so. Could you play as two girls? No, you had um, one guy, one girl. Yeah, you had the jester or the uh, the female sort of acrobat. And everyone was the female acrobat. <laughs> Wonder why? Because she could double jump. Well, that's too pretty much necessary for most of them, unless there was heavy enemies in which case you, you could that? go with it, Fergus instead. It was back when video games didn't have jiggling boobs. Nikki and Fergus were the characters. Back before jiggling boobs in video games. Jiggling boobs. Have you seen the new uh, Street Fighter one? Right, we've got jiggling boobs Ooh, on that. Oh, that's only... <laughs> I'll blame Dead or Alive for starting all that off. One kick. Jiggle. <laughs> They've even gone an extra way, right? Found a fat guy in the game, made his stomach jiggle. Or oh, E-Honda. Yeah, when he fights, his stomach jiggles. Also, I saw a cartoon fight the other day of um, that fat guy versus another fat guy. There was two fat guys. I think one's from Tekken, one's from Street Fighter. <laughs> They were just fighting it out. And it was um, oh, yeah. Ganryu was the one from uh, Tekken, which was just a blatant copy of e No, no, anyway. it was um, someone who was blonde, had a red top on. I'll probably show you after this. Blonde with a red top? Paul yeah. Phoenix? No, no, he was fat. He's one of new know. characters. Oh, all right, one of new ones. I don't, I don't play beat-em-ups anymore. It's like, what's the point? Back in the day, when <laughs> you had good skulls. I was eyeing up Mortal Kombat. Um, on Steam, they've released all the Mortal Kombat's, except it's not all the Mortal Kombat's. It's Mortal Kombat <laughs> One, Two, and Three instead of Mortal Kombat oh. One, Two, Three and Trilogy, because Trilogy was the best one. <sighs> the days of Kombat bashing with Jack. Oh, do you remember the, the fucking horse on Mortal Kombat? The horse. The horse. The, the horse that could just fucking kill everything. It was just unstoppable. We called actually. him the gay horse. Actually, me, you, and Charlie. God, that was a while ago. It's like, yeah. uh, the other day, you know what? I got a craving to play, which is really odd. Super Sonic Racers. Oh, Super Sonic Racers was legendary, man. Super Sonic Racers. <laughs> I was, I left, I was... that Dick Dastardly fucking dude in it. No, it didn't have Dick Dastardly in, but it was that sort of game. It was, they, they... They had a guy exactly like him. Yeah, yeah, Peter Perfect. <clears throat> there was a guy that looked like Peter Perfect, with the chin and everything. But yeah, but I was saying on the Steam forums the other day, um, there's a thread basically of like games you'd like to see on Steam, yeah. and I was I said Micro Machines V3. Well, it was so overdue yeah. for an eight-player multiplayer racing game. That'd be so badass, and it was such a good game. 
As yeah. long as they don't try and like modernise it too much and fuck it up. Yeah, like jumping over the cereal bowls and stuff. Exactly, that was that was the beauty of it. You just want like the racing around is, the kitchen and the toilet if with you your micro machines and, and just hammering each if other. If you look at it now, I think people would prefer it to be like 3D, which would ruin it. Well, well it was 3D, micro machines 3 3 but the thing was, you got to unlock all the cars. Do you remember? I thought it was like top down kind of look. Like when you won races, you got cars as a reward, and there was like hundred yeah. cars to unlock. That was really good. I think they should bring that back. It could, they, cars could drop like TF two item system. <clears throat> I remember it. I remember. It'd be so much fun. It would be so. And if you could trade cars as well, oh, god, that'd be that'd be amazing, mm. hilarious. If you remember though, Super Sonic Races. But are considering how shit Codemasters are these days, it's like not going to happen, is it? He had a purple car. What in Super Sonic Races? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it wasn't. They didn't have the license. He, he used to, to use... when you picked him. I remember he always used to have that stinking mm. laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they they didn't have the license license to use the wacky races oh, yeah. characters. You remember me being a big in anime at one point? I used to watch like Slayers and such. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I was speaking to Jade about anime the other day, and I went, um, "Have you ever heard of Slayers?" And she went, "Oh God, that laugh with Naga." And the, you remember the laugh from Naga that basically she puts her hand on her mouth and goes, <laughs> God, that's every time. Ear piercing. And there's even one episode where there's multiples of I her laughing at the same time. I haven't actually watched Slayers, though. You did come down and watch a bit with, well, you watched bits that I were watching. Good anime, though, Slayers. I'm I quite so enjoyed weird. it. Now in Dotting Slayers. I think, yeah, I, I think get one of the best animes that I watched because you recommended it was um, you now Rosario plus Vampire. Oh, God. <laughs> that, that is so weird. <laughs> no, my favourite I found off my own back was Punny Punny Poemi. That was, that was a legendary That was another one we had down here. Yeah, we both watched that. we had Excel Saga down here. Yeah, but we got Excel Saga because Punny Punny Poemi was so good. God, that was such a weird end, wasn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I fucking love anime. And that they just built this down. roof already. Jesus Christ. Let me just put that down. I think they're going faster with that one than the other one, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. I watched all the bloody Ranmas as well. Oh, Ranma half, yeah. yeah. I, I, loved, I loved the intro for that. Ranma, 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 all it did was just go ran my ran all over it. Yeah. Anime's so good. Why isn't there a dedicated anime channel in England? The problem that I find with anime is the fact that when they update the endings, they always bring out this really crappy ending. It takes like ten episodes for you to get used to it being the new ending. That was the, that was another good thing about Blue Punch Poemi was it was just two yeah. episodes. It's not like One Piece where it goes on for like fucking five years. If you wanted to watch One Piece start to finish now, you would need to like take three years off work. Because there's about 700 sodding episodes. But each one action-packed with <laughs> Nami's boobs. <laughs> Nami's boobs. That seem to grow over the series. That picture we had of it was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Just Nami's boobs expanding over the it was, entire It was series. too much, though. It was too much for me. I couldn't watch it all. And then when they tried to have that battle with four kids, because four kids were censoring everything. So yeah, they started doing all the things... lollipops <clears throat> and shit. Jesus so they started Christ. doing things like uh, throwing a cigarette in a cannonball. They had to throw a lolly stick in there and explode when it exploded. Yeah. And then, like, um, so every stupid. time Nami were revealing tops, they just got more and more revealing. It just proves that censorship is a big pile of fucking fail, doesn't like it? Like Dragon Ball Z without any blood. Yeah, or any swearing. Yeah. It's so, like, Dragon Ball Z is not a children's programme. If you watch the actual fucking... Anime. The actual animes, yeah. It's like, like well, you remember the one at the right? very start when uh, baby, baby Goku is confused because Bulma doesn't have any balls. Yeah. Because she goes and looks inside her pants. Oh, when he takes her pants off and then she flashes Master Roshi and he's like, his nose bleeds. <laughs> <clears throat> and in four kids, they would have just cut that entire episode and gone, nope. Yeah. Don't need explaining. I don't think there is a English language version of that episode. Um, there is a Dragon Ball Z. I don't think of Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball GT. Oh, actually, no, there is a Dragon Ball GT now, actually. Yeah, it's just weird seeing them, like, so softened down. That's why it's yeah. always better to get dubs rather than subs. No, it's always better to get subs rather than dubs. Yeah. It's always shit. better to watch the original rather than four kids. Yeah. Because people dub them now with like, you know, dedicated team of dubbers that are actually just dubbing over the Japanese. But they still they still cut the scenes like I was watching Love Blue Girl the other day, which is a pornographic anime, but very, very funny. Yeah. And um another stage there. Yeah, and basically I I got the English version. And they have actually cut some scenes out. It's like, fucking hell, it's already stupid. I, I like, finally got into... Tentacilly anyway. I finally got round to watching one of the movies that's on my uh, need-to-watch list. What, what what movie? Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell, oh, yeah. I actually got round to actually watching that, that's it. That's a bit of a crazy one. 
I think there's a second one for that as well. Yeah, there's there is a some, something complex. What's it called? I don't know, but it was confusing. They were all confusing. Yeah, they are all confusing. You need to see some of the other classics. Pat Labor is one I remember watching. Um, well, at least we don't watch the weird films anymore. With the bloody dog with its stubs. Right, yeah. legs. Tokyo Gore Police. That was, yes. I loved that film. That was a really good film. If you like gore movies, Tokyo Gore Police, Robo Geisha, one of them Machine is, Girl, like, Reverend Machine Girl. The thing is, I, I like them like that. I don't mind them like that. But the minute a stump comes on screen, I don't know what it is. I, just, um, I can't stand, let's come up to I can't stand them. Back. Did you remember... Um, Oh, what, what film was I thinking of? Oh, Vampire Girl vs. Frankenstein oh, Girl. Yeah. <laughs> God, that was weird. That was crazy. I used to have like, songs for her going, Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Oh, Japanese cinema is so mental. I love it. <laughs>